Hi. Okay. I'm the Burkles. Today, we are going to make something really cool. And you probably always wondered what it was, but those cool brush like previews that they usually make for all those cool brushes, like those abstract brushes, and you've always been thinking, wow, those look really cool, but I always wanted to make one of those. So after I made a tutorial, well, I'm making a tutorial on how to do this. So this is just a demo that I made up. Pretty cool. It's just kind of in low resolution right now, but you can see how it's all shiny and glowy and streaky. Pretty cool, and there's my name. Uh, so, let's get started. Okay, so first you want to do new, make a new document, and then make it 800 by 900. This is a good, very good size for it. And just wait, give it a second to load up. Okay, give us still some room. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is change our foreground color to black. Color the first layer black. Make a new layer. Now this is where our brushes are going to go. So we're going to have to do, I, I, like this, this can work for any brushes you really want. It's just if you want some cool abstract ones, you can, uh, you can do this. Like I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to try, redo, these are very good ones. These are the ones that I used. So what you want to do is you can flip colors and, uh, change to white. White is going to be a really good color for this. But I mean, if you want to try with other colors, it'll work, but it'll just turn out really bad. So you just want to kind of paste some brushes here. I mean, make it make it look like something like something really cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to do my best here to make it like natural. Okay, one sec. And then if you want, you can like flip, you can like kind of add the same ones and just like oops, that kind of looks bad. Uh, like this, and then just free transform and flip horizontals. So now you have like this. Okay, and then if you if you, if you do if you want to do that, you just merge a layer, so now it's one layer. Now this is where and this is now where it might get a little bit tricky for you, but you want to do duplicate layer. So now you have the same layer on both uh, on top of each other, and it, like if you look at them turning off and on, you can see that it's kind of getting a little bit brighter. But what we're gonna do to the top layer is we want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now I found a really good setting for it. Uh, five pixels is really good, but if you want like a really intense glow, you can do it to like wicked high. I don't know, but I personally I like five. So we're gonna press OK, and now we have this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer. Now this is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to your basic brushes. These are installed with Photoshop, so they'll probably be there. Now we're gonna go to our 300 pixel size, uh, like faded. Faded brush or faded, yeah, faded brush, and we're gonna pick what color we want. Now, one of my favorite colors is like green, so I'm gonna use this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take light green, and I'm gonna just cover the parts that I want to be like glowing. Okay, and you can make the brush a little bit smaller if you want to get those like smaller spots, like right here up here and don't do it like all the way around like that because that's going to turn out really bad against the black so just like it's okay to see a little bit of the white now since we're done with that what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the layer properties and we're going to press the drag down box and we're going to go to color ooh pretty so yeah this is this looks like the basic effect and what we're going to want to do to make bring that effect out to make it pop a little more is to make a new layer use the same brush but change your brush color to white and highlight the parts in white that you want like a lot brighter so I'm just going to do around the main parts of it and then I'm going to set the layer properties to overlay see now that that kind of has like a, a lightest green hue I mean for the other one I did the same, but I didn't really change it. But for some colors, you might get it, like maybe change a little bit of the color. But I kind of like this, how it kind of like glows, like kind of a greenish color. But I think it's really cool. So now I got this glowing mass of trees or dots or whatever. And if you see that banner I had before, my name. This is just a really quick thing to make it kind of look professional. You want to take your box tool, change it to a nice gray color over the top. You don't have to have it all the way on the oh, exactly on the edge. Then uh, get rid of that because I'll be there. But go to layer properties and go to bevel and emboss. Emboss. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But you'll get a nice like contour shape. Make it look like it's 3D. Oops, let me turn on the effects. Okay, there it is. And then 
what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a color like I'll get a color that's that looks like it so then I'm just gonna do like so brick no no so brick holes and then just bring it over on top of here make it a little bit bigger so then we can see it okay so now we have the text there we're gonna take the shape and bring the opacity down to about like 50 if you want a little bit less you can then go to our uh, go to our uh, our text gradient overlay and change it from like the darker color like the color you want but make it a little darker and make it make the lighter color on top so it's kind of like this fade and to make a pop out a tiny bit just add some white glow and make the op turn the opacity down so it's not like really blatant and there you go this is your awesome brush thing and you can do this any brush and I don't know how to create your brushes but you can totally do this with the brushes so please subscribe I'll make more tutorials later and if you enjoy please comment and if you have questions send me a private message or if it's really quick just put on a comment Okay, thanks. Bye.